Good morning. We're here at the headquarters of the Joint Operations Command this morning where they've just been conducting a peace witness protest. Can you tell us uh, what you've seen and, uh, and observed here this morning? Uh, well, obviously our friends have been out the front for a couple of hours now witnessing uh, to, I guess, a different way um, and uh, calling on the, uh, the military to end the US alliance, uh, particularly given what's going on at the moment. Um, with Trump and Turnbull and this uh, close, you know, making the uh, relationship even closer, dragging us into more destructive US wars. Uh, so that's what's been going on here. Carol and I decided we uh, would go for a walk around the perimeter, kind of surround the place with uh, with the spirit and uh, see what see what would happen. How important a protest like this, given the Australian government just announced it's sending 300 more troops to Syria and New Zealand is following suit with 100 extra troops? I think it's more important that on mass that we let our governments know that we're not in agreement to, to war every day. Um, and that we're not We've just had over 200 personnel into these gates and uh, I do not think that they are at all connected with what they're doing. Um, certainly the interaction with us was very little um, and that disturbs me that people are sent off every day to kill people in foreign lands, just ordinary men, women and children, people that have done nothing wrong to Australia and we shut them away and actually destroy Australian lives at the same time, asking them to commit murder in the government's name. So while you've been here this morning, there's been a lot of workers travelling in the gates and um, there's obviously a lot of uh, military, police and other um, security personnel around us at the moment. How do you think people have been reacting to you guys being here this morning? Uh, well, we were here for a while. There's a, a bit of... Uh, we've been mostly ignored, to be honest, from what I could see. Um, and that was partly why we wanted to go for a bit of a walk and just really see what happened. Uh, but we assumed it would raise at least a little bit of tension. There's just uh, so much of the time there's no tension uh, around these, these wars that we're engaged in and unless we're actually uh, creating tension, uh, have, having to actually challenge uh, in some way what's going on, uh, they, they will continue to go on and we need more than this. We need lots more people. We need to be challenging in much more um, confronting ways but uh, um, this was I guess a small step this morning. And what did you see on your work? What did you feel as you went around? Well, what actually surprised us was we're aware that within the installations here um, there's joint personnel who collect intelligence and in real time watch what's going on in the war zone. Um, they help with the surveillance to kill others. Um, and our governments talk up the talk on terrorist, terrorism and that we should all be afraid. But what we noticed here, there is so little security. It would be really easy for anybody to enter this space. Um, so I have to think that the governments are uh, talking about terrorism. The risk of terrorism is, is for the ears of the Australian public only. Because it really doesn't seem as though Australian military bases take it very seriously at all. Yeah, I 100% uh, agree with Carol there. I've just seen a left-hand drive car go in. Um, I've had a few American accents, and earlier a guy came by on a push bike in an American we um, saw him. jumpsuit. Yeah, what do you, what, oh, do you, there you go. what do you think that says about the nature of this place? Oh, look, this is uh, obviously the way that the Australian and US militaries are going, uh, both with joint training and with joint facilities like Pine Gap. Um, they're becoming more and more moulded together. Uh, that becomes very difficult to, to separate when it comes to, you know, Trump or any other, um, you know, US president leading Australia into disastrous wars. There's no way we can actually stop and say, you know, we, we don't want to be involved in this. So this is something for the Australian people to think about uh, and to decide what, what they're going to do about uh, being continually dragged into uh, disasters like Iraq, Afghanistan and other, other places, Yemen. Mm. Yeah, so many places, Syria again, yeah. I, th I think with having um, American uh, military on base, it makes it harder and harder to separate Australian policy from American policy, and I think that's the point of it, mm. that we work closer and closer together um, so that they can work on the brother and sisterhood of the military um, and make it harder for people to say that.